digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore and the lovely and talented Nora Blake. And today we're talking about four questions to ask on a first date, such as, what's your name? Wait, no, you should know that by that point. Uh, so anyway, these Do are questions. Do you bring your mom to all your first dates? That should be a good one as well. Um, so these are just questions you can ask uh, when you're on a first date to get the conversational ball rolling and hopefully find out something about somebody. That's what I want to do. Yeah, because I want to so know all the things. You want to know all the things. And but so I'm also often, willing to tell all the things. So often so. people make like small talk and they just say, what's your favorite movie, things like that. <sighs> Which I think doesn't really get to the, and that's just commonality it's seeking, which is fine. Um, the number one thing for me is always just like, what are you passionate about? Like, what what gets you excited? What sure. Do you, and the word passionate is there for a reason. Notice that it's not, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Right? Because in America particularly, we just default to that one all the yeah. time. What do you do for a living? But to me, that doesn't get to the core of what you're really looking for. Not everyone is passionate about their job or has sure. a job they really like. In fact, most people. I'm don't. an account. Yeah, like saying, well, like I'm an, I'm an accountant. So you really like math and numbers? No, not really. Yeah, I, but it, but I it could get be. Get a paycheck from you know. But you might find out that same guy is actually like training to be an MMA fighter on yeah, the weekends that's where and does passion. whatever else yeah. because that's his avocation. That's what he's yeah, we really into. Passion, like, not and again, career. and you want to date people who are passionate in general. You Absolutely. Want to date people who have what else we energy have? about something. Uh, you were saying though, asking about their back. Ground. Yeah, like you're like, you know, I uh, like to know about people's wh where did you grow up? What was your family like? Do you think there's anything valuable in asking like did you have a happy childhood or anything like that or is that going too Seems far? Seems so or? like I can't answer that yes or no. Mm -hmm. It's not a yes or no question. I can. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, but do I still value I mean, I think asking about it because like do I still value all my experience as part of what makes me me? Yes. Yeah. Was it happy? I don't know. Sometimes. But I, think, I think you could actually ask something like, "What was the hap What's the happiest moment you can remember from your childhood?" It could be interesting because it gets. Or what was the most? What was the most? Uh, you know, what is the moment you most remember from your childhood? Because I too. think we put too much pressure on happiness as a thing sure. that we have to all like, you know, paint over our past and also try to find every day in our lives. But I think you also don't want to ask focus. about necessarily the most emotionally resonant moment because they might say something really horrible, which isn't really great for a first date. Or right. it's real and it brings you, and then you can share something, and it brings you closer together. I, yeah. I, I think I have a different idea much. of like I yeah. just I don't know. I think we try too hard to like make things all, and then you don't actually get to know anybody, right? Sure. You're like everybody's whitewashing everything, and then it's not real. Sure. Uh, number three we had here was uh, asking about your hobbies. What do you do for fun? Yeah. Which is a little different than your passion, actually. Yeah. Because when you say passion, people will usually. It isn't necessarily fun so much, something they just feel driven to do. Right? Or passion is, can also be like things that you are passionate about, like yeah. thing, you know, topics and political things that you feel very strongly about. I think it'd be funny to have a guy to be like, passion, I'm passionate about your vagina. Like, no, not so much, buddy. No, it's not going to work. Nope. nope. Or what if it was like, porn. I'm really passionate about porn. I really love it. It's Bye. Great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for four, number, me, for, number four was for me, and it was, uh, what is your proudest moment? Right? Which I know you're going to be like, well, but that's like, but I want to know, like, well, for me, what that tells you is what gives them pride. What no, gives absolutely. Them no, I don't disagree that with that point, one at right? all. That's not like what's your, what is the happiest thing that's ever happened to you? Uh -huh. like, and, it's, you know. and it's not even what is your biggest accomplishment. Nope. Because when you ask what, somebody what their biggest accomplishment is, they're going to feel pressured. In to a value it in a way that's more generalized yeah, as opposed well, they, to their own personal pride. People like, that have pride. kids will often yeah. say, my children are my biggest accomplishment. Yeah. Even if they don't really mean that per se, because they'll just be like, well, that's what you're supposed to say at yeah. that point. But saying your proudest moment can be a great way to get somebody to like actually regress in their mind and think back to the moment when they really did feel proud of themselves for something and going from there. But generally, you just want questions that are going to start a conversation and cut through the emotional barrier that we all have to yep. some degree. Not necessarily, you don't want to get people crying in front of you on your first date, that's not the point. Absolutely. But you want to see if there's substance I there. think all of these things can be done with humor and yep. light and, you know. Yep. So there you go. If you have any questions that you think are great to ask on a first date or awful to ask on a first date, uh, go ahead and put them down below and then uh, go to digitalromance.tv for more. Bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women on The Rachel Ray Show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.